Tugged just about 45 kilometers away on the outskirts of Karachi are the deadly burning grounds of waste. An entire eerie, ghostly shanty town with not even the most essential amenities such as drinking water, sanitation, schools or even a dispensary. All that one can see as one enters this hopeless dejected land called Village Rais Noor Muhammad is a swirl of dust bereft of any healthy feel for life. Village Rais Noor Muhammad falls within the limits of Day Gond Pass, Union Council Gabopat, Town Kemari and District Karachi. It is the beginning of a tough day in harsh weather as men, women and even the little children head towards fetching water. Water. Water everywhere. But for the deprived and highly ignored souls of this unfortunate village, water comes in the form of toxic waste equally shared by humans and animals. We travel a little further and see mounds and mounds of small hillocks of all kinds of city waste of Karachi being set ablaze. This burning of waste starts early in the wee hours of the morning and continues without any let up. In fact, the situation is so tragic that the tiny little hands of children are forced to salvage the solid waste in the burning stage to gather this waste for earning a living. These tiny little hands are nearly burnt or half scalded as they hunt to salvage something from the burning. It is in fact their daily journey to hell and back. The entire population of the village suffers in silence, bearing the full brunt of an unjust system. The village is nearly a 20-year-old illegal settlement, lacking basic facilities such as electricity, water, proper sanitary system, school, health facilities or any form of protection to the over 90% of shabbily constructed makeshift houses from rain or sun. Can you ever imagine an entire village sharing just one shabby structure made of cloth and rags to serve as their point to answer the call of nature? Yes, this is a fact here and this is what the so-called bathroom looks like. Even for a visitor to step in and take a breath in this highly contagious structure would mean inviting disease or death. Not to let village Rais Noor Muhammad die in its own death throes, Hans, a non-profit NGO in collaboration with BPAF, launched the Misali project. While the word Misali in English language means exemplary, it also is the abbreviation for model of integrated society and learning institution. The key objectives of intervention in the village is to establish evidence based on a well-defined, workable and affordable integrated development model. Besides this, strengthening social institutions, leadership, ensuring better living conditions and livelihoods, as of April 11, 2010, this selfless non-profit partnership for the improvement of the lives of the people of village Rais Noor Muhammad has helped achieve a lot. A baseline survey, both qualitative and quantitative, has been conducted. Soon after this, Hans PPAF initiated social mobilization, legalization of the village, health intervention, education and literacy intervention, provisions of safe drinking water and smokeless stoves to the residents of the village, despite very limited resources at our disposal. We went further ahead and engineered interventions featuring a master plan, paving pathways for streets, putting in place a drainage system, installing solar lights, building proper, decent houses, provision of a water and sanitation system, besides initiating a recycling waste management system. Before Hans PPAF stepped into the village, no resident had a Pakistan CNIC. But with relentless struggle, we lobbied hard and convinced Nadra to send its Nadra mobile unit to the village where every household was properly documented and names of all family members entered in the B form. Regarding our health intervention, which started on the 1st of February 2010, registration of pregnant women, including the antenatal screening, was done. A record-keeping system was established, 
medicines are being provided at 50% of their cost, despite the rising cost of medicine and health care. A children and women immunization and health awareness program have been initiated. Also, a camp was held to screen people of the village for hepatitis B, C and blood groups, in which seven cases of hepatitis C were identified. From being labelled as city of burning aspirations, village Rais Noor Muhammad has to rise up and shine as a city of achieving aspirations. It is after all people like us and you who really make a difference in the lives of this destitute population of hardly 997 people. The final draft of the master plan has already been made on 25th of April 2010. Major aspects to move this master plan into pulsating action and a well-planned and achievable reality includes construction phases that require immediate attention, resources and funds. Included in the construction phases are projects such as primary roads scheme, drainage system, housing, community services and facilities, and landscaping the entire village Rais Noor Muhammad from a swamp of smoke, heat, dust and disease into a beautifully landscaped area. We would like to extend our deep gratitude to PPAF, especially Mr. Kamran and his dynamic team, entire community of village Rais Noor Muhammad who extended their full support and cooperation to this intervention project. Mr. George, the consultant from Australia, who, with his selfless devotion, showed us all what compassion is. Mr. Azhar Ali, the consultant on waste management based in Turkey. And the entire team of Hans Social Mobilization, Poverty Alleviation, Health and Education. Think for a moment about those tiny little hands being scalded by the flames of burning waste, of those men, women and children drinking water along with animals from a dirty, toxic felt water pond, of those shabby houses in which the inhabitants are exposed every day to the harsh elements of sun, rain, dust and the winter chill of the dreadful cough that splutter of blood in the sputum of infected patients. Think again, think hard and real for once of how you can help us help the people of village Rais Noor Muhammad.